the screens and man I am done all my orders are completed all my customers are taken care of they got one person I promise free paint to I haven't forgot about you I'll have you taken care of tomorrow so I'll get you ready for tomorrow here's two quarts coming to him a free paint this is a good customer of mine I promised him two free quarts of paint I'm gonna put it in the white containers for you this will be taken care of tomorrow for you so don't worry about that I'm gonna call you up today and let you know all right so I'm done uh, my orders are done tables blank that means I got project time to do downstairs I'm waiting for it to dry I got an 8 by 10 uh, polyester surface which I'm waiting for that to dry all right now I got my downtime I get to sit down and relax for the day my heating blanket which I like to get my heating blanket watch my westerns cartoons movies whatever Ugh. sit up here enjoy my screen watch my fish until my screen drives downstairs and I'm back to work again I get even on a day where I get a chance to relax I can't sit still because I get bored got to find something to do so we can't do the. I was hoping to do the acoustic game and acoustic screen had it all set up ready to go install the speakers and everything but it rained today so hopefully tomorrow we get a good day tomorrow we get the 150 inch painted I got the retro pie coming in tomorrow we can set the host so we'll be good to go until then I get to watch my fish oopsie go back a little bit there ah. I could watch this all day so I gotta go through my plan to damn figure exactly got a day I finally got downtime and don't even know what to do with it I'm used to working all the time I was thinking about doing some demonstrations outside in the rain but yeah what's the point $500 projector. I still can't believe I paid $500 for that projector behind me. Ain't really much to do, to tell you the truth. I'm used to doing like four or five demonstrations in a day, but now that's kind of like not even there anymore. There's no point in doing them. I'm, I'm like I said, I ain't not trying to brag or anything, but once you have a contract, that's it. Especially one like that. You really don't really have much to do anymore. Ain't really nothing to challenge anymore, to tell you the truth. Pretty much any product I make, they're going to buy. Hey, Taco! Taco, 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 Taco. Coming up, Taco. You coming up? But she likes to fish. He likes to fish, you think she? You got a small head. Ain't nothing really to do. I thought about that. Ain't nothing really to do. All I got to do now is just basically whatever I design, send it over to them. They buy a couple of samples of it. They paint it up in this showroom. They bring down their investors. Their investors look at the screens. They figure out what they want. They figure out how much they want. They process that back to me, and I make the product. That's it. Money gets transferred into my account. I'm done. That's pretty much it. I don't even know if I'm going to like this or not. No challenge to it. Well, this cat gets a challenge. I think it's a watch fish all day. There's no challenge. Where's the challenge at? I started thinking about it. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to basically go against Black Diamond. I got to have a challenge in there somewhere. I mean, I just can't basically just design something not to go against something. I have to go against something. There's no point in basically doing it to begin with. Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to put my hat in the ring. I'm going after Black Diamond. I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to call them again and see if I can get those sample sheets over here. I want to do. I want to actually go against every last one of their screens. Because I put the Phoenix 10 is downstairs in the basement. Well, not, it's not a 10. I keep saying it's a 10. The professional Phoenix is in the basement right now. I took that down because I figured. I mean, bottom line is, the whole purpose of of, of, of advertising on YouTube was to basically to get orders, and to get orders was for the advertising. But now, bottom line is, if I'm guaranteed, if I'm in my contract and I'm guaranteed to get like so many thousand gallons of paint every freaking every freaking week, then I, look at this. Look how amazing that looks. Hey, tell me it's not crazy or what? I see this all day long. I still can't get over. Like it's a $500 projector sitting behind me right now. It had to cost me nothing. But anyway, yeah. When you think about it, like 
you get mine you're guaranteed to get that many orders already from the door so now the push and the drive ain't there no more because like mm. you know what i mean i gotta just make it put it out and they're gonna buy it where's the challenge so i gotta go against something and the only screen i can think about bottom line is would be the hardest screen to go after would be a diamond unless there's something else out there that i don't know about that i could go against and then that allows me to be able to design and create new more stuff, more interesting ideas, because then if I have a harder component to go against, that means I have to work twice as harder to keep up with it, or right? twice as harder to conquer it. That's where the other ones don't get the drive. They don't understand the drive of it all. There's got to be a company out there. I got to find me a company out there that's way 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 better than if i if i if i'm able to go i, I know i know i know i'll put it, put it this way i got a pretty good idea that i could take on black diamond i know it i did it in 2015 i seen their technology i seen what they had to offer they can't compete with black technology this is black technology this just right now this is black technology producing high white levels and color and contrast with no problem Five thousand dollars they charge for a projection screen. It's a hundred and twenty-six inch elite screen coated with a screen paint that cost my customers two hundred and twenty-four dollars. These are the projector that only costs five hundred dollars. Right, their demonstration of their screens cost five thousand dollars, and the projector they use in their demonstrations cost anywhere from five thousand, eight thousand, and even fifty grand. I can sit here in the bay windows and watch my screen. to figure out what am I looking for that's what I'm trying to find out see that's what I said that all oh, the ones they don't understand it goes deeper than that man it goes deeper than screens man it goes deeper than projectors they don't get it they don't understand it it goes way deeper than that they don't understand the, the, the concept the art the beauty of it all they don't get it they don't have the passion for it they don't it goes much deeper than the projector and the screen it goes way deeper than that you want a screen to look realistic. That's what you want. You want it to come to life. In any environment, you want it to be be real. That's what you want. And they don't see it. They cut too many corners. They, they miss the most important parts of going along the road and developing technology. So Monday morning, I signed the contract. It becomes official. Everything changes after that. trying to figure out what is my final screen because there has to be a last one there has to be one last one i gotta figure out what i'm looking for because this is this is good i love the technology don't get me wrong i love this technology but it can be better it can be much much better than this I got an idea of what I want. I just can't explain it yet. But eventually it will come to light. I will have it soon. But I just can't explain what it is yet. I want something that looks attractive when the projector's off. I want the screen to look gorgeous, beautiful, like outstanding, breathtaking, even when the, when the projector's off. 
like a piece of art. And then when the projector comes on, it turns into a whole different world. Well, I got a lot of work to do. I have quite a few projects on the plate. And actually, I'm actually working on a few interesting things. Actually, I want to be working with 7D technology. That right there, 3D technology. Um, they got something called Aqua Hydro, something um, on projection, which I'm actually looking out, looking into. 3D holograms. I want to go outside the screen right now. I like the whole flat surface, but I want to do something where the screen can actually come off the surface. That's what I want to get into. Mainly holograms on how to advance that technology to make it even better. Okay, well, I'm going to get back to a nice hot cup of tea. Um, and um, I guess I'll... Um, be back on tomorrow because we have that i can't wait that we put something in it's a new coating something we put i can't tell you what it is but something interesting that we put it inside the uh, acoustic screens i cannot wait i went to see it so badly today but we can't do it today because of the rain but at least tomorrow we have the 150 inch we'll get the retro pie and get a chance to play with that a little bit but yeah something really cool we're going to be uh, we're going to be designing with that um with that uh, the spray on application for signature 19 technology Oh, well, okay. I said, oh, well, I said, oh, well. Okay, gotta go. Thank you all, and God bless.